What's up, party people? Welcome to the same year interview, year three. Tama three, di ba? Kita lang. My name is Nian Jose Evidente Guerrero. The date today is February 19, 2024. 16 years old. 17 years old now. I'm 18! Woo! 13.9 million. 14.3 million. 14.9 million. 29.9 million. 37.9 million. 42.4 million. 23 million. 24 million. I still have 24 million. 14.4 million. 15.1 million. 15.6 million subscribers. Okay, let's watch my past self. Okay, so in YouTube, the most viewed one is still the same. I mean, it's pretty hard to beat that. So, like, I feel like. That's the hindi yung pinaka start ng nagboom yung aking career since that Despacito thing was really iconic. For my 18th birthday a few a month ago, um, I did the entrance thing where I do this cotillion dance with G Force and and the cotillion song was Despacito and at the chorus I did the Despacito dance which was such a full circle moment for me I don't know at that moment when I did it because I would do it at rehearsals and finally okay wow Despacito but then when I did it at the very moment at the very very day I was like whoa I did this when I was like what 11 I have a lot of favorite vlogs but one of them is when we went to our farm Zambales probably that SB19 video that crosswalk concert one that was insane <laughs> once again we did lots of cool vlogs the past year I'm gonna do a top three. Our dream house is coming to life. I'm excited to move and also at the same time very sad that I'm gonna leave this house. My Tokyo moments captured with the fam because that was like our first out of the country vacation with like the whole fam. And lastly, my 18th birthday! My unforgettable 18th birthday celebration, yes. The best prank that I did was the brown out prank on my brother. That was crazy. I really enjoyed that. Piercing prank! For me, the best challenge that we did the past year was the 24 hour overnight challenge in the mall. That was pretty crazy. To add dun sa favorite prank or challenge. Wala kasi kami ginawa masyad ng prank the past year. Kasi yung dami namin ginagawa and Wala, wala lang kami naiisip. My most viral TikTok video is the one where I was fake running in our farm. Wednesday dance thing. I didn't expect that to blow up, honestly. Until now, it's the same. 182 million views and 20.3 million likes. This year, yung pinaka viral ko was that dance I did with Natalia with the non-copyright song so I can play it. Yes, that, that dance. That was supposed to be a joke. 102 million views and 13.5 million likes. That's crazy. And I just uploaded that February 2, this month. And a lot of people are doing it and I'm so proud. Let's go. I feel like nothing's gonna beat booty work. But if we're talking about what I did from last year, 2022, it's that wait a minute challenge that I did. Once again, thrice again. Nothing's gonna beat the booty work challenge that's very memorable to me. But if we're talking, I feel like yung pinaka viral other than that for me and my most favorite also. The feather dance challenge that I did with Sabrina Carpenter. I feel like that really blew up, which shocked me. You know, a lot of people did it before going to her concerts and you know, with their families because it's, it's such an easy trend. See, I actually have a draft of me doing that dance. Imagining Sabrina's gonna be with me. I feel like it's nice to put it on. The most famous person that followed me on TikTok is Bella Porch. It's still Bella Porch. So some of the famous personalities that followed me last year, we have here Troy Sivan, super cool. And we have Sabrina Carpenter, the sweetest, sweetest girl ever. We have here Tate McRae, super cool girl also. And we also have Megan Trainer. Not a lot of you know this, but we met during my stay in LA when I collabed with Tate McRae. It's actually really cool. And we have here, lastly, I'll mention the one and only Jungkook from BTS. Yes, he's super cool. <laughs> I remember screaming because my friends would tell me and I couldn't believe it. So I checked and it's true. And I said, OMG, hi, is this real? And he said, yeah. 
I was very glammed up. That had 1.4 million likes. I feel like the most liked is also me being glammed up. It had 1 million and 38,000 likes. For real, like all of my most liked posts are me glammed up. So if I'm not mistaken, my most liked post on Instagram with my very cool friends Michael Lee, John Victor, Kat Rodriguez, and Rafi Rodriguez. So we did this cool challenge of mine. It had 1.3 million likes and 8.9 million views. Isn't that crazy? But if we're talking about a photo, a month ago, yung pinaka liked ko is cover shoot for Scout Magazine, shot by the one and only BJ Pascual. Glammed up na naman si Niana Guerrero. Siyempre, most liked. Magaling kayo eh. It's one of my favorite shoots ever. It has 1 million likes. So, kailan ka magpapalit ng DP mo? It's either when I meet people outside that just says, Hey, Niana, kailan ka magpapalit ng DP? Right? Or like in Until comments. Now. Okay guys, ito na yung totoo. Ito na. Hindi pa din. No comment. Next. <laughs> I'm a type of student that doesn't like the subject math. I try. I'm a chill student. Um, right now, I'd say I'm still pretty chill. You know, I'm I'm just doing the things I need to do, get them done right away. Um, catching up with school. But I still don't like math. Right now, though, my favorite course English. Right now, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. I've said this many times. I just like to continue what I'm doing right now. Just put smiles on people's faces and try them to make a difference. Just go with the flow. What you said is pretty much still the same. I still don't know what to do. A lot of people have been asking me that question. I really don't know yet. Honestly, I feel like I'm already doing what I like to do. If that was me two years ago, I feel like I'm doing it. What I want to do right now and I'm, I'm very happy with it. Recently, I've just been doing the same things that I was doing before. But right now, I feel like I have more control over it. As an 18-year-old, whoa! No, but yeah, I have more control over it, like with all the, you know, creative inputs and what. I feel like right now, I really know what I want right now. But if we're talking about what I want to do in the future, I don't know. Gento pa rin siguro ako. Who knows? I really don't know. Who knows the future, right? Creative, nice, <laughs> hyper. First word is nice. Second word, speaking of chill, chill. Kasi chill talaga ako. And then third, aesthetic. I kind of remember what I said last year. <laughs> she said nice. But right now, I'll say nice again. Creative, and then lastly, swaggy. Because I've, lately I've been feeling swaggy. Except to yung mga, yung mga shoot ko na very glamorous and fabulous. But like, other than that, the 99% the ninety nine percent of me is feeling very swaggy. I was just at home for like two years straight. The fact that people know me is so cool. Like even though I'm wearing a mask or a cap or a hoodie, I'm surprised that they still recognize me. Like what I said, sometimes I'd be wrapped up like a hoodie, like just all black and then a mask, sometimes shades. And I'm still surprised that people would know me. How is that possible? Kasi mas tako pansin kayo naka-wrapped up tsaka shades. Hello. To answer that right now, I find it really fun. Once again, meeting all of the people around the world, not just here, but in different countries. Like one of the unforgettable experiences I had lately. Um, I went to Japan with my siblings first um, in Osaka. Nagugulat ako. May mga tao na kilala sa akin. Like kasi from the airport, syempre may luggage pa kami. Wala, mahal yung taxi dun sa lakad kami puntang hotel. So you were walking sa streets, literally streets with luggages. And then someone was like, <gasps> like she doesn't know my name, but she knows me. And like she's from there, which is shocking to me. You're, dance, dancer? She said, dancer? I was like, yes, yes, dancer. <laughs> <laughs> and she end up, ended up taking a picture. And yes, that means the world. I tried to dress up nice every day, kahit nasa bahay. Liar! I played guitar. I try to dance. Liar! Spend time with my family. Or if wala sa bahay, it's either out with my friends. At the end of the day, I always try to write on my journal. Liar! Okay, lahat ng sinabi ko last year, it's a prank. Sabi ko, dress nice every day. Hmm? Pangit ka, hmm? Hindi naman dress nice every day yun. Sabi ko ata drawing, hindi naman ako magda-drawing. Dance, hindi naman ako dance every day. That's just me trying to be sound productive. <laughs> no, but like for real now though, I'd say a normal day. There's really no routine. I feel like it changes every day what I, like what I said there. It changes every day. But, uh, but like recently, this is true. I'm like writing on my journal more right now. I've been dancing more than last year, I feel like. Because especially after I went to that Red Bull event, um, when Red Bull took me to Germany for the Dance Your Style event, I got really inspired watching all of the dancers battle and do their little freestyles in the corner. And I learned so much. Pag uiko from the airplane, 
freestyle agad ako. And hanggang ngayon, dito sa kwarto, nag-freestyle talaga ako. That's not a lie. My current favorite dance move, the one that's going by right now, where it goes... I know you've seen this somewhere. It goes, like... It plays with those variations over there, and then you shake your hip. It's from Lil Uzi Vert. My favorite move this year so far, I've been doing it every day, I'm not gonna lie. All my friends know this, but this move right here. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Apparently, it's called the Juju Walk. You know, it's giving riz, it's giving swag, it's giving... That's my favorite move. In YouTube Fan Fest 2019, where me and my brother performed on stage in Mawa Arena. And there was a lot of people. We performed with a marching band. I felt like Beyonce. Um, probably when we went to the Corridor Island because that was one of my scariest nights of my life. Experience traveling alone to Dubai last month. I felt so brave right when I touched down Dubai. I was so very mayabang about it. From the Philippines, I went to the airport. I was alone in the airport. Went through immigration, went to the plane. I was seated alone. I was seated alone in the airplane for the first time. It felt really, really lonely. And then I went to Dubai. Until, ala, sa taxi. Ako din mag isa. I felt so brave, man. I felt like I could do anything in the world. I felt invincible. I felt the best version of myself. <laughs> no, but like when I touched down Dubai, I was texting my the, the family group chat. I was like, I made it to Dubai. I didn't actually meet her, okay? I just watched her live for twice. It was one of the best nights of my life, honestly. So this year, I want to travel more. I want to travel around the world more. I like, I want to travel with my friends, with my family, and just explore places I've never been to. Props to her. Oh my gosh. Can we give? For that Liana Guerrero over there in 2023, she went around the world. I went to Japan, I went to Indonesia, I went to Germany, and then I went to Dubai with my friends. I went to LA two times, two freaking times last year. But like if we're talking about right now, for this year, once again, I would like to travel more. Um, to be specific, I'm really looking forward to going to around Europe. You know, I want to see the Eiffel Tower. I want to go to Paris, to Milan, everywhere. Um, I would like to go see more of my favorite artists live. To add to that, I also want to get myself a car. So that's also part of my bucket list. Hopefully soon, I will. So far, those are my top three. I don't think, but there's a lot of for sure. Turning 18 next year is just crazy to me. I wonder how I'm like when I'm 18. I wonder how I look like. I wonder how it feels like being 18. I don't want to wear a gown. I don't want to wear a gown. Guess what? She wore a gown! Everybody clap for me again! Thank you! Um, eventually, after that interview, na, na convinced na rin ako na mag, mag gown. And de kasi naman, I'm very happy with the gown that I wear on my birthday because it was made by the one and only Michael Cinco. So I was very happy I got to work with him. It's a very, it's giving collaboration, you know. He gave me what I wanted. It's still giving me. To answer myself, because I was like, I wonder how it feels when I'm 18, how I look like. How I look like this, how you look like, girl. And I haven't felt any different so far. I look forward to singing. That's one skill that I've never tried before. I feel like I want to go to more live music concerts. Or like when you listen to their music live, it's a feeling. Like especially when I heard Billy live, it just I feel like I'm not inspired to comment. I feel like I'm looking forward to really learning about myself a bit more now that I'm 18. I feel like, I don't know, I wanna experience more things and you know, whatever I have to go through, whatever mistakes or whatever, learn from them and just grow from it. But I feel like I'm looking forward to self-growth. Self-growth! Describe my style through a dance move. Big movement and flowy and wavy. I like baggy clothes and oversized. I feel like it's flowy, yeah. Because one, I also like comfortable clothes. And at that time, I was trying different styles. We'll put flow and stop. Flow, stop. Oh, I'm a dancer. Because once again, I love, you know, being swag. And I'm just going with the flow and with whatever I like, discovering new styles. But then with a stop, I'm trying new things I haven't done before. Whoa, deep. You just have to watch out. It's my fashion era. 
Fashion era! Okay. Vlog ideas. We post like every other day and it's important to think of creative ideas outside of the box. Outfits. I always try to visualize what I wear the next day. Some of the things that are occupying my mind right now is just relationships with people. Ah! I've never ever... Oh my god. Also understanding the difference. I know what's occupying my mind, but I do not know how to construct it with words. But like, yes, I feel like one of them is like relationships with people and understanding the difference of each and every person and understanding the difference of how I react to those differences or like people who support you and people. Basta! Thank you. Next. A good 8.5. Maybe there are times where I feel like I'm confident, but like most of the time, I'd say seven or eight plays with that honestly it's been it hasn't been super consistent lately sometimes I would feel like a solid 10 for real I've never said that sometimes I feel I'm so confident I'm so comfortable with everything but sometimes mabag saksha to three moments where I feel very confident is when I always it's when I go out a lot, when I go hang out with my friends, meet new people, collaborate with new people, and just experience things outside. Because whenever I'm inside the house all the time, na napapinsin ko na parang I overthink so many things, like how people, what people think about me and stuff like that. So bumabagsak yung confidence ng 3 to 1, you know, to negative 1 to 3, 4. For me, my movie, favorite movie probably right now is No Way Home, Spider-Man. I'd say it's Hairspray. Well, lately, Whenever people ask me, I always say, Barbie. I feel like that movie hit me in every way possible. <sighs> like to the core. Like especially when that Billie Eilish song came on. And I don't know, I feel like I loved how that movie was just made. Shout out Greta Gerwig. Billie Eilish is my favorite artist. I would research about the artists nung mga panahon nila dad and everything. Recently, I've been listening to Given, Billie Eilish, Tate McRae, Sabrina Carpenter, Beyonce, Troy Sivan, Tyla, Nicki Minaj, Chris Brown, Drake. Oh, diba? Ang saya. In one word, it is close. Very, very close. It's always fun. You know, I'm with my family mostly every day, especially when there's no one has work. We're literally all in the house, chilling. And it doesn't matter if we're doing anything together. It doesn't matter if we're like, you know, playing board games, like, you know, and stuff like that. As long as like, we're just here in the house, like the presence of each and every one. 10 million subscribers. That was one of the craziest moments of my life. Walk of fame. It may be not Hollywood or in LA, but here in our country, we have a star. We have a star. Ah! Getting to collaborate with all my idols, you know, like, I still can't believe it. Oh my gosh. Like I collabed with Troy Sivan, Dochi, Sabrina Carpenter, Tate McRae, and all these K-pop celebrities like Treasure and NCT and I always have the best time collaborating with these people and to me that's just such an insane in achievement. I used to like listen to the songs of these people and watch them. Getting to collaborate with them is like super, it's such an honor. Winning the Dance Creator of the Year award from TikTok. There are times where I feel pressured. But I'm just like, Diana, there's nothing to lose. Just do it. Sometimes where I'm really at that point where I'm just overwhelmed and tired, I take time and just pause for a bit. Just like rest a bit and reflect on things, I guess. Can't avoid it. Can't escape it. You're always gonna feel that way. There's lots of things going on. It makes me so overwhelmed. And also the pressure to be a role model is insane. The pressure to... Knowing that kids look up to you is insane. So many other things. Sometimes I always feel pressured. I'm good at handling it by just like resting for a bit, knowing when to pause. That's that's one thing I always have in mind to just pause, you know. You know what? Before I really, I really don't like acting. That is a fact. Maybe I can try it again. I focused on a little bit of singing and playing guitar. Acting not yet. I'll see. I'd like to try to drive alone to BGC. I haven't done that. I have to achieve that as she said um to drive i don't need to drive to bgc just to drive in general like like alone because i usually drive it's either my sisters or or like my parents just to guide me on my driving but like i've never really experienced how i'm like to drive alone that's just one thing i want to try i want to try to do sleepover <laughs> that's just one thing i haven't done ever in my life i asked some of my friends most of my friends 
have experienced sleepovers. Shout out to my parents. Di ko naman sinasabing this year. Sige, tsaka na. Okay, so this time, may iba naman. I asked people for some questions on Twitter and on threads. And we'll answer some. Where do you listen to music the most? Car, AirPods, or speaker? Speakers. The, what's your dream car? A lot of people have been asking that. Oh my gosh, I'm so pressured. But like, I don't know what specifically yet, but like ideally, it's it has to be an electric car. Okay, questions from Instagram. Your height, 5'3 or 5'4? Don't know, never checked again. Ano feeling maging 18? Di ko pa alam. <laughs> Experience mo na ng one year. <laughs> Ilang taon ka magbo boyfriend? <laughs> Lara! Grabis ka you! What's the most embarrassing moment you had? In the grocery, I remember when I was younger, I would go to the grocery with my mom. And um, of course, she would leave me in line because she forgot something. And um, I think some lady that had the same shirt of my mom, nakatalikod. I was like, Mom, did you get what you need na? Tapos pagharap hindi pala si Mama. That was so embarrassing. And lastly, how's your first bar experience? Um, at first, I felt really awkward about it. I don't know, I felt really exposed. I've never been to that that type of places before and to experience that for the first time with my friends and fam. It was fun. I'd say it was fun, but it's not This is the 16-year-old Yana. I just hope that you're still doing the things that you love and that you've learned new things as well, like singing. And also surround, still surround yourself with good people and stay happy. And also spend time with your little sister, Natalia. Just like what she said, just learning new things. There's always room for learning new things and improving. Just keep doing you. Still surround yourself with good people because that's very important. Yeah, to my 19-year-old self, I just want to say, go you. I, ho I hope you, you did well on your 18th year. <laughs> I hope you learned a lot from everything that you experienced. You did it. Advice ka sayo is wag ka maging OA. <laughs> Sa mga lahat ng ba bagay, maging ano ka lang, know how to handle things better. So now, let's call on my parents. Here's mom and dad. Wait, let's watch the previous years. Nakakatuwa at nasagot niyo yung mga questions ng maayos. Yay! I'll see you guys next year. Bye! Be normal, okay? What is this? Kamasad ng ano. Okay lang yan. Okay. And now you give me advice as an 18 year old. Ang uh, advice ko sa iyo anak uh, kasi now that you're 18 medyo legal ka na but uh, this is also the time na maka-experience ka ng mga problema so dadaan yan sa iyo you know this is the real world you know um, you need to start deciding for yourself and uh, although nandiyan pa rin kami no to guide you this is the time where you like really you know, get to decide for yourself. Anyway, wala naman ako talagang masyadong i-advise dito kasi ano na to eh, matalino na to eh. Critical thinker. Yes. Sumobra. So, sobrahan. Uh, kung ano man yung mga problema mo, all you, nandito lang kami, no? Kung meron kang love life <laughs> pala tayo pala yung problema. problems or <laughs> issues with the, uh, you know, petty, petty things, you yes. know? Yes. We're always here for you. Thanks, guys. And, yun lang. Here's the advice 18. ko sa iyo na medyo may edad ka na no. Huwag mo pa rin kalimutan na tignan yung baby sister mo si Natalia. Yes. Kung may time ka, you know, find time to play with her. Of course. Diba? Play with her? Yes. Yes. Look at her face, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys. Here's to 18. See you guys next year. Mm. I'm turning 19. Ew. Okay, that is it. I'll see you guys next year. Yeah. Dati talaga sabi ko, ayoko mag-dress kahit anong gawin nyo. Gawin nyo na lahat, ayoko mag-gown. Eh, nag-gown siya. <laughs> o, oh, yung mga manliligaw dyan, ha? Ay, dad! Dama na! Pwede na kayo. Hindi, well, kaya walang nanliligaw, eh. Excuse my baby hair. Ate. <laughs>